Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be looking at one of the amazing new features of Adobe Audition, that's D Reverb, which is just going to blow your mind. Let's roll. All right, we're in Adobe Audition, and if you've never opened Adobe Audition before, I invite you to come to cinemasound.com and stream our product, Adobe Audition 123. It'll take you from, I've never opened Adobe Audition before, I don't know how anything works, to creating really great value and being having a lot of facility in getting around in the program and getting great deliveries and deliverables. All right, so here I've got, uh, just like in any non-linear editor, I've got a little clip uh, that has a bunch of reverb in it. Let's check it out. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls, floors. You get it, right? Tons of reverb in there. Not too bad, but not really great either. Just like in a non-linear editor, we can apply these effects to any clips and we do that by selecting the clip we want going to effects and then going to noise reduction restoration and de reverb we can also do the same thing by cl selecting clip under the effects rack and doing the same thing but we want to add this to a track just for now and that would allow us to apply this to every clip that's on this track right now just one but i'll show you how we do the same thing effects rack track effects and we're going to go here to noise reduction restoration and D-Reverb. This is a non-destructive plugin at this point. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got all kinds of cool graphics representing the denoising reverb and the original signal. We've got auto gain, which basically brings the overall volume, uh, restores the overall volume if there's any loss from the dereverbing process. And then we have how much of this process do we want? And then something very unique to Adobe Audition, and that's these bits right here. These allow the D-Reverb plugin to focus on certain frequency areas. The dashed line here basically means that it's focusing on the entire frequency spectrum. The next one over is for low frequency um, and then mid frequency, low and high frequency, and finally high frequency. Now you've heard me say this before with the coefficient of noise versus artifacts. You either have all the artifacts and no noise or all the noise and no artifacts. And it's the same with D-Reverb. We want to find a coefficient between artifacts and noise and reverb it sounds great. And using these selectors of frequency emphasis really helps. So let's check this out on the broadband. I'm just going to make sure the loop is on. I'm going to select the time tool and we'll put this on a loop. In a reflective dining room, and we'll pull which up a mount. has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls, floors, and some moderate absorption with some giant windows. Now that's it at full, and obviously there's a ton of artifacture in there, which is way too much. So we'll bring it down somewhere around 70. Let's see how this sounds. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings. And if we turn this off, so we remind ourselves what it sounds like. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, on. parallel ceilings, walls, floors, and off. some moderate absorption with some junk. It also has a nice benefit of doing a denoise pass in there too. It's cleaning up a lot of that junk that's in there. Let's see, because the, the reverb is sort of mid-rangey. Let's see what the mid-range focus sounds like. See if it's any better. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls. It certainly helps with the sibilant artifacture because it's not doing much up there. And in that bathroom, there's just not, or dining room rather, there's just not that much of it there. Let's see on the lows and highs. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, Let's just try lows. walls, floors, and some moderate absorption with some giant window. Which sounds weird. You can kind of hear absorption and weird things. And then just high frequencies. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, Back to mid. walls, floors, and some moderate absorption with some giant and windows. And full bandwidth. Let's see how this does. Oop. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, Let's go back to the mid range ceilings, and raise walls, the amount. floors, and some moderate absorption with some giant windows. Full bandwidth. Let's see how this does. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, and we're both of these settings, the mid range and the full range, are doing a great job of getting rid of the reverb. If we remember how it was. 
in a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls. That's pretty amazing. And what we're listening for is how much artifacting is going on. And there's a slight bit less in that mid-range emphasis than there is in the full bandwidth, of course, because the high frequencies are being left alone, more or less. And uh, on, whereas on the broadband, it's getting, you know, whacked and everything else, even though there's not a lot of reverb up in there. So this is a really fantastic tool for stripping out that reverb that might have gotten into your tracks without adding very much artifacture at all. And of course, you can do this destructively in the spectral view by double clicking and then pulling down effects, noise reduction, de-reverb, or doing it like we showed you earlier in the edit window. If you found this video helpful at all or any of the hundreds of other videos that are available on this channel, please subscribe to us here on Cinema Sound and come visit us at cinemasound.com and hopefully one of the hundreds of blog posts and educational bits that we have there can give you some help in getting that amazing Hollywood level production value into your productions. Until then, we'll see you in post.